everyone, it's Katie Farner, director for the Sunshine State Superstars. Let me apologize in advance about this. I'm driving, but this way I can still talk to you and be hands-free. I have both my hands on my wheel, so I'm still safe, and I can look straight ahead and still be talking to you guys. So, sorry for the steering wheel in your face. But, I wanna talk to you guys um, about Can Do Cancun and um, summertime focus. So I'm just gonna kinda, this is a very impromptu video. It's just been on my mind, so um, you may notice that it is not perfectly polished and it's just kinda cause I'm just spitballing as I'm going through. So first I wanna talk to you guys about Can Do Cancun. We are a month and a half a little more than a month and a half into Can Do Cancun. And I don't want you to be discouraged if you are not close to earning it yet. There are many superstar directors, star directors, directors who have 1,500 points, zero points, 3,000 points. So I don't want you to think that if you have little or no points that it ain't gonna happen for you because that's not true. There is still plenty of time left to earn this trip. Lots of trips, lots of promotions have been earned. Very last minute nail biter. So don't think that you are out of the running to earn this. You absolutely can still earn this. And that's why focus, which is what we're gonna talk about right now, is very, very important. So let's talk about when a brand new consultant joins. So when a brand new consultant joins and you're trying to get your business started, you think of your business as like a like let's let's think of your business as like a giant giant boulder when you're brand new and you're trying to get things started trying to get your business off you know on a great leg you have to work pretty hard to push that boulder and get that boulder moving you've got to make phone calls you've got to ask people for support you got to ask people to host you know you got to risk hearing no and it's very scary to do that for the first few times and it takes a lot of momentum and energy and drive and focus to get that boulder rolling. Once that boulder starts rolling though, gravity comes into play and the boulder starts rolling more quickly with less effort on your part. But if you take a break and your boulder stops, how hard is it to start over again to get the ball rolling? again to get that boulder rolling again you are going to exert so much more energy if that is what you are doing if you give it all this momentum and then stop and then oh you got to give it all this momentum again and then stop so it's important that we focus on our business throughout the whole year not just certain seasons because you might think you're saving yourself on some work by completely ignoring your business throughout the summer, but you're creating more work for yourselves. Because if you think that you can go May, June, July, August, without saying so much as the word Cincy, you know, maybe getting your 150 just so you're not canceled. Um, but if, if you think that you can do that and then come September 1st, because it's fall, your calendar will magically be full of parties I hate to be the one to break it to you, but that ain't gonna happen. It's not going to happen. You are going to have to start all over again with the pushing and the momentum and the energy and the focus and the drive. And it is going to take so much more time and so much more energy than if you would have just still continuously been working through the summer. No one is saying that during the summer you're gonna work as hard as you do during the fall. It, no, I don't work half as much during the summer as I do during the fall. I have so much more free time during the summer, but my business never takes a back seat. I still maintain my PRV. I still maintain my 2000 every month. I'll hit 2000 again this month. I will still maintain my sales, but I'm not working quite as much. There's just not as many parties, not as many home parties because I'm pushing baskets. I've got five of them. They're all over the country right now. I have one in Georgia and one in California as we speak. So. You've got to be smarter during the summer about how you're going to work, but it's not going to, it shouldn't stop. If it stops, you're going to have a much harder time come the fall. So let's talk about focus. 
When I say focus on your business, I do not mean it has to be your number one priority. Your business shouldn't be your number one priority. It's not my number one priority. It's not Heidi and Orville's number one priority. And it shouldn't be yours. But your goals and your effort need to be matched. You can't have a goal of, I want to make $500 a month, but give effort of a consultant who would make $50 a month. Your effort and your goals have to line up. So make sure that your goal is fresh in your mind in front of you. You know, if it's getting out of debt, all right, what are you doing to get yourself out of debt? If it's, you know, replacing your full-time income, great. What are you doing to replace your full-time income? Is it to have fun money each month? That's awesome. What? What are you, what is that, what amount is that? Is that $100 a month? Okay, great. Let's let's make sure that your effort matches what you want. If it's earning Can Do Cancun, great. Is your effort matching that of those who are, is earning Can Do Cancun? Are you, are you sharing the business opportunity? I'm gonna mention two team members right now who I'm just incredibly impressed with. And that is Tori Overlock and Tristan Wilfong. Those are two team members who are going hard at their goals. They both want Can Do Cancun so bad they can taste it. And they are consistently sharing, pushing themselves out of their comfort zones. And I guarantee those two are gonna earn it. I have no doubt in my mind that those two are gonna earn Can Do Cancun because they are consistently sharing, they are consistently putting themselves out of their comfort zone trying something new and it's just it's so inspiring and exciting and so I just wanted to give you two a little shout out and say you're doing a great job and um, I'm here for you and um, I'm excited because I know you're going to be in Cancun with me I know it so um, anyway I say all that to say do not lose focus during the summer you will regret it during the fall it will make your life so much harder so find ways to incorporate Cincy in your summer activities. There's barbecues, there's pool parties, there's going to the beach, there's stuff all the time. That's why it's so hard to get home parties because people are go, go, go. You know somebody's going on vacation? Ask them to take a basket test or set with them back home or whatever. Find ways to incorporate Cincy. Go into a barbecue, bring your testers, bring some catalogs, bring a warmer. If she doesn't have a warmer, set it up. All the people will smell it and fall in love with it. Find ways to incorporate it. Birthday party, give it as a gift. Baby shower, give it as a gift. Wedding, give it as a gift. Uh, Yesterday, I was looking at a house with my mom, and the homeowner had candles. And what do I do? Of course, I give him a Scentsy sample and talk to him all about it. They're moving back to Michigan, where they're from. So who knows? I might have a new customer in Michigan. I might have a new team member in Michigan, for all I know. Hey, we dream big in Sunshine State Superstars, right? So who knows what will come from it. But my point is, there you can easily incorporate Cincy in your daily life. It just has to be a thought. It has to be something that is somewhere floating around in your brain. Otherwise, you're not going to think of it. You know? Think about the last week. How many times in the last week did you miss out on an opportunity to simply say something about Cincy? It can be so simple. I think sometimes we make it so hard when in reality, it's just not. It's just a part of your life, a part of who you are. And that to me is focus. That to me is focus and moving forward positively. So thanks for sticking with me. I know that was kind of all over the place, but it's just some things that have really been on my mind that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, And I really want to see many of you earn this Can Do Cancun incentive. I know a lot of you are excited and really want to make it happen. And the only way you're going to do that is if you focus. If you focus and you share, share, share. You need to be sharing the business opportunity with every freaking person you meet. Every waitress you have, every cashier you have, everyone you meet. And you will earn it. I promise you. And every bit of work that you're doing this summer is only going to make your fall so much better. Last summer, I recruited a lot of people and I worked really hard and I was bummed because I'm like, oh, there's nothing really going on during the summer. 
stinks. But it helped me earn grace. It helped me get 106,000 trip points. I was like easily in the top five of point totals for the entire company. And it's because my fall was benefited by my strong summer. So don't let your summer slack and your, your fall is going to thank you for it. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for all my new videos so you can be up to date on what we've got going on. And I will catch you guys next time around.